Okay, what is it here? January, January the 3rd. <laughs> what do we got? <laughs> oh boy, we got an Airbus. Half of the wing is not, uh, we haven't got that all taped up. But we're just gonna put this down on the side here. I know this, I, where, where I am is, uh, oh, I don't know. This is a good or bad idea, but some trouble with that nose wheel. I don't know why it's so weird, but whatever. Up, up, up. Okay. <laughs> now here I go again, waiting for cars. <clears throat> right? I don't even know how far those telephone poles are away for landing. Okay. Look at this! <laughs> Needs tons of aileron trim. I can't believe Looks like a real airliner. Huh. Yeah, that that rudder or that uh, <laughs> there is some fog out there. Definitely some fog. <sighs> Let me give her a little bit of rudder. to help straighten that out. We'll go over the plane once I get her down. <sighs> okay. I'm just not sure on this battery time. And I do not want to hit those poles. I'm gonna go one more time. I wish I had flaps on this thing. Oh, look at that. It did take the landing, a part of the landing gear off. Look at that, because it's just glued on. <laughs> well, it still landed. So, I'm happy for that. Oh, see, the road is just too rough. I cannot believe that. What kind of glue that they use for, for that? Mind you, these things are, are not supposed to be taken off. You know what I mean? If you were to scale up, you know, the stones and this, the gravel on here, there'd be boulders on a real runway, so I guess that's really not the plane's fault. If I was on a nice smooth piece of asphalt. She descends a little a little quick, but I got this 4,000 milliamp battery in here. You know, so we're just gonna put it up here for a second. I'm not sure what kind of power I got left. 
I put it up here and we can sort of take a better look kind of at what at what I did. I wonder what yeah I see that just just pops in there, eh? Huh. Right in here. Like that. Okay, well I did do uh, a couple little sort of scale things to it. Uh, geez, I got some marks out of some mud already from being out here. I did uh, like some stuff around the front nose. Try to give it some, some scaleness to it. You know, these antennas I put in the bottom here. If anybody who has one of these and watches this video, can you please tell me about this tape? underneath here because one side I have taped on like I put scotch tape over top because I can't I don't see that it has a backing to it so that's kind of like what the the deal is with that it's a really nice really nice flying plane like it's uh, very very docile you know I didn't fly too hard uh, my rudder uh, I put on the back you know I wasn't so crazy about the, the a380 thing you know being slanted like that but you know I'm not gonna go too nuts uh, just to whatever so I put I put the rudder in there anyway and I mounted the servo <coughs> straight in I like I grinded it in I cut a spot out there and uh, just you know so I didn't have to hack up the decal in the back with a decal <laughs> I put uh, I put it up halfway in the rudder, and it's pretty bulky there, so it's it's mostly in there. Then I just cut out I just cut out the area where it went in there, and I was able to peel away uh, that coloring, and then just sort of stick it back onto the servo, and then a little line that goes just laterally, and then down the vertical stabilizer into the plane. So that's what I did with that. And both sides I I cut at a 22 and a half degree angle. Instead of cutting, you know, having, here's your rudder and here's your plane. Instead of cutting off you get straight 45 here, then you have a big area of white. What I did is I cut 22 this way, 22 that way. So I, it binds up like this and I have minimal, if you look on there, you see I have minimal sort of white showing, eh? And it, it binds up pretty, pretty, pretty tight to the vertical stab. So I decided to do that. Most of my kits I always, I always sort of do the 45 thing because it's quick and easy and throw, you have rank amount of throw. This didn't give me a ton of throw, uh, but it, it, it gave me enough because the plane shouldn't need a whole lot of throw, and which it doesn't. It, it turns, you know, fairly nicely. So, I don't know, I might glue that, try gluing on that, uh, that landing gear and have another one, but I have to warm up because I am freezing. Flight so. two, we put that 37 milliamp, 3700 milliamp, Three cell zippy, it's actually quite a bit smaller. This looks a little bit better. Right here, so. Oh shit! Two of them fell off! <laughs> now what the hell am I gonna do? Cause I don't want cars to run over them. Ugh. So that's one. I would like to know what the hell. Oh yeah, a car will run over that for sure. Oh no, so now I got a belly, a belly rip. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a look at that and just see what what has all come off there. Okay, well. I'm gonna just try and slow fly it a little bit. And keep it a little bit closer.
Man, a white plane and a white sky. Hope we're getting this. I don't know where to land it. Two landing gears, one side is completely off. I know with a lot of my 3D planes, I used to come down and try to hang it up on one side. Try a nice slow flyby here. So what a beautiful plane. I got an emergency landing though here. What a drag. Well, I guess that glue didn't cure. <laughs> well, I got one minute. Okay, well. <sighs> One minute it is. On this zippy. So I'm just gonna make one more pass here. Okay. I'm gonna really try to slow her down. <clears throat> Shit, I got a car. I got a damn car, son of a bitch. Okay, let's try this one more time. Okay, <laughs> well, I didn't exactly keep it on the side. I'm sure that other landing gear might be off. Very hard to do that. But it might have survived. Try to land her on the one side. Oh, what a drag. <laughs> hey, look at that. It stayed. Oh, except my front landing gear. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. Well, you know what? Yeah. I gotta piss around with this. Yeah, look at that. She just too. It's just too too soft. So I kind of expected that. I don't know if I'd have put it more on the road. If that would have been maybe a better idea. I don't know because the road is a little bit harder. But that ground is quite a bit softer than what I thought it'd be. I thought it might be a little bit harder. It did touch those side wheels. And I'm not sure. Yeah, that's the wheel that, uh, that came off in the first place, so. Yeah, so I'll get those put in a little bit better and clean it all up. Because it's, yeah, I got a little bit of, a little bit of mud in the, in that one EDF where she touched down. So I'll have to clean that all up like this part of that oh look at this one EDF see that epoxy it sure doesn't like this kind of this kind of stuff so I got a little bit of work to do but it's okay the plane survived and I'm happy about that that's the biggest part right that she survived I can fix a 
I can fix a broken landing gear. Or a, uh, a little bit of something on the... And that's why they talk about, you know, coming to the landing field. Oh, look at that. No, it's actually the... Okay, well, it doesn't matter. As you can sort of see here. Yeah, I can bring this guy out now. Yeah. Okay. So I got some repairs to do on some of this stuff. But that's all part of the sport. I'm just glad I was able to get it up and fly. Now I can give it some reinforcements where it needs. And then uh, do the number. So, <laughs> what a multi plane. Probably keep this just in here. Okay. We got her. A lot of, we got a bunch of nothing kind of recording too, so. And we got our wheels. That's the biggest thing. Because, uh, look at that. They sure don't use much glue. Okay, so, on behalf on this day, it's January the 3rd. We want to thank our viewers. <laughs> hey, Captain Blas, yeah, and Captain Robert. You guys inspired me to push the button. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>